before you even mix, double check your mixer, okay? Turn it on, that suction, because it went. But if you plug it that way, it reaches to zero. This is good, okay? This guy, right away, without doing anything, what do you, what do you think's wrong with it? It's clogged. Okay, so if you're not careful, cleaning your own toes, Got to make sure your hose is clear. So I would dream that clear. I'll make sure that the O-ring is in here before I put it together. That's also plugged. You can see the stone in the filter. If you need to change the filter, just get a piece of two by two, roll it, stick it in there, works just as well. But don't leave, don't use it without any kind of filter. Because it'll plug up the whole machine. The stone will end up here. You need just Wasted the whole machine. So every time you go leave the lab with your own hose, you want to make sure it's clean as that. Okay. So I've checked my equipment, got all my materials, did all my measurements before I even start anything. See? Okay. So you'd be using this. Oh my God. <laughs> This is uh, antique. Okay, two settings for this kind of model. <laughs> That's twice as much as the other one. Okay, we're going to use this one. So I'm going to move some of my stuff here. Can you cut me some paper? Yeah. How much? Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Normally there'd be a plastic sheet. You guys have the crummiest lab. You get that recorded? Okay, this is different types of yellow stone. I have no idea. Just basic I'm stuff. Yeah. Right, where's my water? Who's the water man? I got it. <laughs> this was out of here, which is a good idea. If you have, if you don't have tile, a uh, sheet of plastic will work. I don't use paper because it absorbs. And if you don't have one, I'll just lay it on the counter. But I always make sure I put Vaseline on it, so it's easy to just pick up, and I don't have to clean it. Okay? There's a purpose for that. Much better if you have something to put your stone on as it flows. So you be gloved up. Um, I'm very picky about all my equipment because I want it to last. I want the quality of my product not to be affected by other things. If you end up with this over a long time, this can get into your crown and bridge pour up and a very critical part it could be your margin and that just compromises your work and then you have to call the patient back again so take your time to scrape the little parts right here and what created it what caused it it's because when the previous mix it wasn't rinsed right away so to keep from having a clean bit like this as I'm working with it, if I'm done with this, I keep this running. I just put it right there. Okay, and then I rinse it right away. It doesn't take much time, but that just solves me a lot of headaches. It, it ensures my equipment is still working. Every little bit here can fall off at any critical moment. Even at the O-ring side, okay? If you take this O-ring, you let stone build up on it. You get in your margin. It's happened to me, and I don't want it to happen again. Even here. See it? Take the back of your knife so you don't scratch your beautiful bowl too much. Alright, so this is good. Good to go. How much water? Because, because we did two millimeters less. Because 
say make it more strength. Just a hard one. Okay. So put the water first. Okay, see Easiest way to oh that impression. All right, real briefly, I will mix this in D time. With well, that is prescribed time. I will flow the stone into the tea. Build it up. Set it aside. Create my base. Okay. I'm not using the former, remember, create my base with enough strength so it doesn't flow away from me. The key is how do you manipulate that stone at that critical junction between this and the base. And I'll show you. Normally I like a spatula that's straight because it tells me. I should have brought my stuff. It looks nice, Lindsay, though. How about time to press it? Can you go to one of the clinics? This one, time to press it. There would be one. That would work. I'll wait for you. Because uh, the reason I want a, something straight is I want to be able to run this across yeah. on the flat plane and not have that effect right there. Okay. It looks really nice. I could use this, but it's too short. So tearing this was, was as easy as looking at the fold where it overlaps. So, let me wait for him. Yes, sir. Well, temperature of the water? What's the right temperature? Room. Room is colder. Norm will accelerate your legs. Heat up your time. So you want to buy mixing time, go cold. If you're comfortable at room temperature, that after so many flashes, go cold. Notice I have a pointed instrument. It doesn't have to be this one. It could be a um, cotton tip applicator. Anything, at least I have something pointed. The purpose for this is when I go and flow, you know, I see. Like the uncertainty. I see the new material rolling in. Sometimes the best way to catch a bubble is you just hurry up and let it roll. But I direct each stone to go in and rise up. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you don't have an instrument right away, break a little piece of this and you've got something pointing. Okay, that's one trick. I've been caught in so many emergencies that you have to adapt so what I normally do is I take a little stone from the mix vibrate it in guide it take my time to make sure that I don't have any bubbles trapped okay do I do that every time no I don't but it's a good way to start so it really makes you pay attention to it because all it takes is one critical bubble a singular one and it's gone Okay, we do it again. Okay? So just take the time.